Mochi. Oh wow. There is actually, wow. That's our first time seeing a Muji Bakery. Look at all the goods. So good. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm so cool. Yeah, do you want more food? <gasps> oh my god, wow. He's baking, he's working hard. Is this the way up or is there an escalator? There's a diner. Huh. Muji diner. diner at the bottom. They got teas. They got a bunch of stuff here. Six floors. Hey, Muji produce. Look at all these. That's crazy. I wonder what's the difference. Is it just the brand? Are those all sauces? Oh, yeah. Instant curries. Hmm. Hamburger, sausage. steak with cheese fillings. Ooh. There's a juice stand too. Oh wow. Yeah, there is a juice stand here. This Muji is huge. Flagship. Oh yeah, they're all tea blends. Oh my god, what? Those are all different teas. It's just like a wall of snacks. So many snacks. So many different ones. You got some candy here. Marsh, marshmallows, chocolates, crackers, wafers. Wow. They even have a frozen section with like meals, gyozas. Deep fried chicken. Oh my goodness. Alright, are we going upstairs now? There's a diner. I like the way it looks. Look how fancy this looks. The men's section here is so massive. I am so excited. There's so much clothes and it's actually a lot cheaper than back home. I think they jack up the prices because it's like import, but <laughs> it's really cheap here. And it's tax free for tourists, so. Yeah. <laughs> this place is all you can sock. Literally socks everywhere. We found the Muji bikes. Cool. Oh my god, they're like why four hundred to five hundred dollars? So we're back at the hotel to rest up. We're super exhausted from walking all day long. We did a quick family mart run to get a couple snacks, more things that we wanted to try, and now we're just gonna eat and chill until we go to Team Labs later today. Okay, so let's see what we got on the menu. <laughs> it's like our fourth meal today. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Family Chiki from Family Marv, which is um, their fried chicken. Ooh. We got some cold udon. Let's go. And we got a coffee, cold coffee. Bam. And the souffle pudding. I'm so excited to try souffle this. Souffle pudding. I wonder if it's that much different from the pudding from yesterday. Let's go for the fried chicken first because it's nice and hot. So, we gotta open like this some the thing. Wow. Wow. Right, you have to show them. Fried chicken. Hey. Oh, the fami chiki, that's what they call it. Fami chiki, that looks delicious. It's oh. like, I think it's the size of maybe like three fingers. Fami chiki. Actually, three, four fingers. Three to four fingers. That's how wide it is. Let's try it. Mm. Wow, that's pretty good. You want a bucket of it now, don't you? <laughs> it's kind of like eating chicken tender, but I think but it's, it's like a thigh piece or something like that. Really? I think there's skin on it. 
I taste skin, but that might just be the dough, I'm not really sure. It's like salt and pepper. Honestly, the batter is pretty thick. There's not much chicken in there, but it still tastes pretty good. Like, for con konbini food, this is really delicious. Mm. Yeah, like honestly better than some like of the fried chicken we've had back home like fast food I love chicken I like the flavor the flavor is really good mm. it's crispy outside not that much meat inside but it's whatever it's deep fried chicken I think the American people would love this honestly it's like a flat chicken tender like why is it always in strips why don't we just flatten them out mm. and like sell it like that mm. Really good, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. I wish they had sold these by the bucket. So we got the cold udon noodles with batter and all the toppings are actually separated from on top to prevent it from getting soggy. So now I'll just open it and mix it all up. I think you just dump everything in, right? Really? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. What is that white stuff at the top? It's like that... I think it's like that radish paste that they use. Oh. Okay, let me just dump the sauce in first. So here we got udon noodles. So there's this udon sauce. Noodles look pretty dry right now, but hopefully the sauce life. will revive it a bit. Alrighty, here we go. Oh. Loosen up the noodles a bit first. Okay, okay, it's getting there, it's getting there. <laughs> it's still a little hard. Okay, I gotta be really careful, it's splashing. It's gaining some life back. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna dump the rest of the stuff in. Okay, we got. Okay, first tempura. Let's go. Ah. And then I think this is like radish. I'm not really sure what it is. Dump all that in. And then we got some cucumber and seaweed. Mix wow. that all around. Oh my god. Alright, gonna take a big bite of these mm. noodles. Hey, Samara. You guys hear that noise in the background? That's because she's on a massage chair. Honestly, that's really good. <laughs> I thought the udon noodles would be really hard because mm -hmm. it's like in the fridge and it was pretty dry when we um, first opened it. Yeah. But. With the sauce, it's like nice and springy, really chewy. The tempura bites add some crunch to it, and the sauce is just like just enough saltiness. Like, wow, this Damn. is really good with the cucumber and everything it's too. It's restaurant quality. <laughs> is that what you're saying? I wouldn't say restaurant quality, but this is definitely something like you can eat often without feeling icky about it. Oh. Like, it's definitely doesn't taste like convenient food. Like, doesn't taste like convenience store food. Back home. Back home. Store. Yeah. Uh, no way this is convenience store. <laughs> like, this is actually pretty good. It's really refreshing too because mm -hmm. it's cold and it's hot outside, so this is perfect for the weather. Yeah, cold noodles. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's cold and refreshing. Yeah, it's really delicious. Um, I like it. We need more real food in the convenience stores like i'm sick of just seeing hot dogs and like potato wedges i know right, right. like this is an actual meal yeah Ooh. Mm. that's so i really like it yeah right it's delicious i haven't been drinking coffee since we got to japan this is gonna be my first coffee i got i got this family boss espresso yeah. looks pretty good hopefully there's caffeine in it i don't really know 
can't read it, but excited to try this. They have um, hot versions of this too, like on the counter, so it like heats it up, but it's hot outside, so I'm gonna get the cold. I'll just open it right now. That smells some damn good coffee. It smells really smooth already. Like I can already imagine what it will taste like. Yep, super smooth. Not that bitter. Like I usually drink bitter, more bitter coffee, but this is really smooth. Hopefully, there's caffeine in this. It's like you got the decaf. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if Japanese coffee has caffeine. I don't know. There's a taxi on the. I tried Google. Nutrition. I tried Google translating it, but I couldn't find the word caffeine. But maybe I should have got the energy ones, the drinks that are like energy. Yeah, but I think there should be. Maybe I'm feeling it already. I don't really know. You think it? So it's really um, smooth. Oh yeah, that's not bitter like at yeah, all. Yeah, it's not bitter. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not. It's you love when you want it bitter. <laughs> it's good. It's good. That's that. Oh, my turn, my turn. Your turn, okay. I was gonna end it, but. You gotta you got try this with me. Okay. Souffle pudding. Let's open it. How do I do this? <laughs> I'm kinda scared. I think it's like it's secured just, really well. Is it just sitting on top? Oh my gosh, it's just sitting on top. <laughs> That's does so it jiggle? Funny. Let's see. Does it, got, does it pass the jiggle test? Oh no, That's it's very jiggly. hard. Not jiggly at all. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's see if it passed the taste test at least. Ooh. Mm. Isn't that cake? Sorry. Please. First bite! Okay. Is that good or bad? I judged it, but it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's like cheesecake! Mmm! Oh my god! It's like cheesecake souffle. It's so good. Have you ever, if you've ever had like those fluffy Japanese cheesecakes, that's what it tastes like. Wow, that's actually really good. I'm really surprised. Really soft. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. I'm surprised. Oh wow, okay. Okay. Wow, that's actually Based so good. Based on just the top, like how the cake was, you would expect something like hard. But is that custard at the bottom? Yeah, it's custard. Really soft, really creamy. Yeah, I'll bite a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Wow, that's really good. Mmm. I think I like this better with the souffle than the one yesterday without really? the souffle. Yeah, the souffle is so tasty. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yesterday was from 7-Eleven. Maybe they don't have this. Hmm. They must one-up each other somehow. Good. The custard is pretty jiggly, just not the souffle. But mm -hmm. the souffle still tastes pretty good. That's for sure. Mm. Yummy. I like to take a sip of the espresso coffee and then eat this because the contrast is so big. Let me see this way here. Oh, I want to try that. Can mm -hmm. I? Mm -hmm. yeah. And now your bite should be even more wishy. Even more wishy. Oh. Oh. Mm. Pretty That's good. good. It's almost like it cleanses the palate so that you're eating it as if it's your first bite every bite. That's the ginger. <laughs> <laughs> That's the equivalent of the ginger ash sushi. Wow. Delicious. Mm. That's it. See you guys in the next Kambini run. That's it for our second Kambini run. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> if there is another one. There will definitely be another one. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Peace.